Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 14th through the 20th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Saggy. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the magician, you're trying to manifest something here. I'm not sure what, but I do see you're dealing with someone else. So could be in regards to that. In the recent past, the five of pentacles, the two of cups, the six of pentacles. So there's a sense of separation here. I feel like it's not necessarily physical. So it, it, it's almost looking like whoever this is, Whoever this is, um, you were possibly with them, living with them, whatever you were doing, but somehow there was a sense of distance there between the two of you because the energies show up as everything's fine, you know, we're, we're doing our thing, there's equal give and take here, there's good stuff happening, and then bam, the Five of Pentacles is there. So someone felt somewhat disconnected from this. Uh, now, in the current situation, the Five of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Swords. There seems to be conflict here or just not being on the same page where it almost feels like this is, this is not, this is just not working out, you know. And there's definitely a soul connection at play, so I don't know who this is to you. It could be someone from romantic to friendship. It could be just about anything, anyone. Um, in the immediate future, the Knight of Pentacles, the Empress, the Four of Pentacles. There's a lot of work on yourself here that's coming through. You're heading in that direction slowly but surely uh, towards yourself, towards opening up more to that soft part of yourself, you know? Um, and it looks like you're very determined to do so, to open yourself up more in that direction. So let's clarify. Let me clarify the magician. Queen of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Fool. Yeah, that's what you're manifesting. And that's why you're heading in the direction of uh, opening up more. Because you're actually calling that in. It's it's something that's kind of crossing your mind, possibly over there somehow. You know, you may think you want other stuff, and you're, but deep down you're actually calling out for a little bit of space, a little bit of time for yourself. So that's a good energy right there, by the way. Because uh, it's coming through has shown up quite good. Uh, so it's, it could be needed at this time when it shows up like that. For the Five of Pentacles in the recent past, you get the Ten of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Devil. Yeah, there's some part of you that's keeping you at a distance here. So this is quite meaningful what you're showing me in the sense of partnership here with someone. But there is one part of you that you're looking like you're starting to identify that keeps you at a distance, which is telling me you're not opening up to it fully. And it's quite difficult and it's quite, you know, it's becoming quite the pain in the ass. It's like, you know, I know I'm here, but I'm not really here. So it's kind of quite frustrating. Um, but I see you with that page of pentacles that you're starting to realize that, okay, this is me. We got a problem here and the problem belongs to me, you know? So it's something quite unhealthy that just doesn't allow you to open up fully to any kind of significant relationship in your life, you know? Um, let's do the Two of Cups. The Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups. And it, it, the frustrating part is that you seem to have all the elements in place, you know? The heart is open, that's going great, that's going great, that's going great. What the hell is wrong there? What's not allowing me to, to open up to this? I don't know, but it's right there. Could have been a limited belief, could have been, who knows? There's a lot of things, fear. Because you are presenting to me a sense of, you know, I got this going, I got this going, I got this going, and they're all good. They all make a match for things to to, to be right there, to be working out. Um, let's do the Six of Pentacles.
the Ten of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. And it's it's quite frustrating, uh, another reason that it's, well, probably the main reason, because, you know, mentally, emotionally, you look like you want it to work out. You're right there, hanging on to things, making everything possible to make things work. And then something in the middle there, as an energy, just kind of sits right there telling you, no, this is not going to work, you know? all the time as you enter a connection as you exit a connection it's that's always present that kind of an energy of nope nope this is this is not gonna work out this is doomed from the get-go it's just not gonna work so so dealing with that is frustrating right it's not it's just not matching what you bring in to a come on there's a sneeze that's fucking with me and it's been here all day and it's just coming through and then it goes away and then it's like, come on already. Oh, anyways. So, um, I see the frustration there and I see the realization on both sides. One, that you're bringing everything to the table that you think you're capable of and you are in terms of the energy you're bringing in. And then there's something else right there in the middle every freaking time. It's like, what is it? What, what's disrupting things here? But then I, I also see you acknowledging that it's something that belongs to you. And again, it could be fear, could be a limiting belief, but it's your energy, you know? Um, let's do the five of wands in the current situation. The knight of wands, the two of wands, the five of cups. This is a little bit of a saggy kind of an energy, you know, a little bit of a fiery where maybe if you would have been patient about blurring stuff out, you know, the, the situation might have gone different here. Because it's, it's looking very much like there's some sort of conflict at play um, in a particular situation and it could be because you blurred something out when you could have waited five more minutes to cool down to chill and maybe address the situation in a very different way and it does look like it's a pattern of yours so it could be that you know you used to do this all the time and you're still doing it and it's you know you're not necessarily seeing that mm, this can be done in a little bit of a different way to avoid conflict and it's not even oh i'm scared of conflict and i'm not mm -mm. it's just why put yourself through this because you're hurting at the end of this so you're hurting yourself by doing this you know so it's definitely that kind of a sense of um impulsiveness basically um saying some things that maybe you don't want to say in those ways or doing some things that maybe you don't want to do in those ways and if you would just take a little bit of a break before doing or saying something here uh, maybe things would go in a different way. For the Six of Cups, you get the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, the Four of Wands. Whatever this connection is, is very significant to you. It's looking like it's heading into a good place. It's looking like there's, you know, there's definitely progress there. And it's stepping into bigger energies and better energies of commitment, possibly. Uh, but something about it is kind of keeping you occupied in your mind. You know, it's stressing you out. And it could be because of these conflicts. It could be because of whatever fear you got going on there in the way. Um, let's do the Ten of Swords. The Magician, the Judgment card, the Nine of Swords. When things get a little too much to deal with, especially tied up to this connection or to any other connection, but in particular this one here because it's shown up here, uh, I feel like that's when you're calling is towards self like if it gets too much to deal with if it's too stressful if it's just too much altogether take a little time for yourself there you're allowed this connection is not going to go anywhere just give yourself five minutes now you know a little bit more than five minutes but you know what i mean so you're kind of looking like you're reaching that place of you know it all gets piled up into a, a an energy that you can make out anyway so it's like why not give yourself some time and space when that happens let's do the knight of pentacles in the immediate future the seven of cups the queen of wands the three of swords and a lot of the times you may take it as 
you know, when you deal with too much in this, when, when, when that glass gets full, you may have the tendency to be like, well, fuck the glass. I don't need the glass. I'm just going to go look for an empty glass somewhere else. I don't know. You're kind of coming at me with this kind of energy where you are giving time to yourself and space to yourself. You're not jumping into something else. But it's from that mindset of, this is too much to deal with, too hard to deal with. I'm just going to leave it altogether. And I don't think you are going to do that here. You don't look like that's what you want to do. You look like that's what your pain wants you to do. You know, where you reach that place of, I don't really want to look into this from a healing perspective. I just kind of want to push it to the side so that I can move on. No headaches, no nothing. And that's that. But when looking at it from a healing perspective, that's when I kind of don't see you as meaning it, you know. For the Empress, you get the Strength card, the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Just take a break for yourself. That's it. No need to put anything to the side for now. No need to, you know, kind of go with the old patterns of it's too much, too hard to deal with. Goodbye. Um... Give yourself some some time that's it and after that if you decide you don't want to deal with this good then don't but you're definitely coming through with a, a, a little bit of an energy of i need some time for myself so give it to yourself and it is <clears throat> guiding you back towards your heart towards your inner strength you know um <clears throat> Where you'll find a sense of balance and a sense of clarity over where you want to go next. What you want to do about the situation. But really taking impulsive decisions and out of anger, out of pain. You know, that doesn't really work out too well, ultimately. For the Four of Pentacles, you get the Justice card, the Five of Swords, the Ace of Cups. This is, again, showing up as a pattern of doing things in this way when it gets too much you might bail you might be like okay i'm not doing this anymore but then you come back to it <clears throat> what you fail in doing in your pattern is give yourself enough time and space to gain clarity enough meaning it could be from one week to two years if that's what you need but try to determine that space where you give to yourself only because what you're doing here is thinking you're doing that but you're not really doing that because you keep on going back to the same thing. And when you go, go back to the same thing and recreate the exact same energies, that tells me you didn't give yourself shit. You didn't give yourself time here. You wouldn't do things in the same way if you did. You think you did, but you didn't. <clears throat> so you definitely have the, the tendency to repeat the cycle over and over and over again. Which is telling me you're not getting to the root of what's causing this cycle. Which is telling me you're not giving yourself enough time and space to go into healing, to go into yourself. This is the opportunity because this cycle is coming back out to repeat itself. So it's really up to you. And here I see you. Oh, oh, I think me leaving in that way and uh, I might have hurt them. So let me go back and see if maybe they changed if I hurt them this badly or this has nothing to do with them ultimately has to do with your own patterns so <clears throat> let's see what the universe has to close it off the emperor the ten of wands the knight of cups yeah currently you're you're functioning a lot under um your masculine energy you know the one that goes and does and cuts in stone and it's like yeah oh, okay i'll do this and this and this because this is what makes me feel good but the feeling part is on your feminine aspect and what's interesting about this reading is that what you're manifesting in the place that you're heading into is that tapping into your feminine into the softer side of you the the, the, the side that feels not the side that does the side that does you got it covered it creates the cycle it perpetuates it. It keeps it going. The side that feels would give herself enough time to just sit and chill and gain clarity and dig 
into the source of what's driving that side of the masculine to take over and to take charge and to to basically again kind of perpetuate the cycle so um it's pretty i feel like you're tired i feel like you're you're kind of tired of doing things over and over again in the same way uh intention being very different the intention being of but i just want love i just want for things to work out and i get it but are they or are you kind of going through the same wheel over and over again because that's when you need to stop and do things in a very different way you know so that's what i have for you hope this helps and i'll see you next time